Hey guys, in this tutorial of Learn JavaScript, we're going to be continuing off from our last tutorial where we were talking about um, creating classes and constructors for the classes. Now in this one, we're going to be creating an enum, and an enum pretty much is a drop-down list, so instead of having to type in the name, you could have a drop-down list for the name, and that way, um, when you're setting it up, you don't have to keep typing in, you know, health potion or mana potion for what kind of potion it is. It can just be a simple drop down and click and you can set up a bunch of different potions that you could use. So to create an enum, it's pretty basic. It's just how it sounds, enum. And then you want to name it something for um, the type. So we could call it uh, something like name type or whatever you want. It could be um, like potion type, Actually, that might be better, just so we can we can tell it apart from other enums if we create any more. Um, so in here, we're going to be creating a list. So what we're going to be typing in is health potion, mana potion, and from here you can add in different potions and create different values for each of these. If you want to add um, more things to hear, like if you were making a like a potion that increases speed, you could create a simple little speed variable and that might be a float, depending on how you have your movement set up. So maybe we could just name that um, a float if we wanted to. And whatnot. So you just create another else of statement if you wanted. And we can name this uh, simply Speed Potion. So if we want to go down here, Speed Potion, and that's a simple way to do it. So after you get all all the the list that you want set up, just close it off like that. You don't need the last comma on there because it just closes off. And then what you want to do is you want to go up to the name, and we're going to be replacing this with this. Now what this does is instead of having to type in a name like you would with a string where you can do your own custom ones, this will be a drop down list of these three items. So that way you don't have to go through the hassle of writing out health potion every time you want to create some kind of new health potion. Because with classes you could create multiple different types of uh, potions and different levels. So maybe you want to create a health potion that was a level 1 potion so it only heals for maybe 20 health but then you wanted like a level 50 potion or a level 20 potion that heals for much higher so you'd want to set up another level variable probably in there and you can um, or you could times the heal by the level and it'll come up with something different than what it normally is or you could calculate that out wherever you want um, so yeah pretty much um, or else you could just go into the class and you can select health potion you could select level and you could calculate it all out um, previously or you could just type in a different heal amount for each potion that you create depending on what you create and then it would heal for a different value when you use it and so yeah this makes it a lot easier because like I said before you're not typing in these long amounts into the name each time you just click and drop down and you can easily and very quickly create that. Now you're not only stuck to doing it for just the name, you could do it for any um, any that you want. So maybe, yeah, if you wanted to create a new enum, you could just create a new one right below it and use it within here as well. If you're having different drop downs for different types of not only potions but armor and different stuff like that. But right now, this is just a potions class. You could name it consumable class, and the name of it would just be um, what pops up. So yeah, um, going to be going over a lot of the stuff in the future. This is, is some of the basics that we're going to be using when we're creating d the inventory and stuff like that. I still have to go over and cover the list, so I'm going to try releasing a couple more simple learn JavaScript tutorials 
and so you guys can get familiar with what we're going to be using when we go and we start creating this type of stuff in the Unity 3D tutorial series. So.